そっか重傷だなお前Evict me! 
Well, Mario, the only way I'm not going to evict you is if you have your house payment right now in cash. So do you have it? Well, of course I don't. We didn't weep. Well, just give me another chance. Ew, Mario, stop. You sound like my ex-wife. After I cheated on her, she was like, oh, please, give me another chance. I promise I'll be hotter. And I was like, ew, no. There's other women out there, and I don't want you. When I walk inside this bed and I'm not blind. Yeah, I be high every night, but I still try. Yeah, since I shot some to the sky while we were driving. Yeah, this bread just told me I'm on D, but I ain't dying. Hmm. It's like I'm looking at the old me. Naruto and Hinata are still gone. No! Alright, so the new Boruto time skip spoilers lead today, and we see Kawaki just standing here like a gangster, bro. Look at Kawaki. Let's take a second to look at Kawaki, bro. Hey man, the drip, the drip is the drip goes too hard, bro. But what is he doing exactly? He's just looking at his mom and dad. Look at them, bro. Naruto and Hinata are still. They are still are they in a coma? Are they asleep? They're frozen in time, bro. They cannot move. They're stuck. And it's just wild. Like it makes me wonder, like, how can Kawaki move in this? But if you think about it, that's really, really sad. Like, bro. Kawaki put them in dimension before the time skip. The time skip lasted like three years. Naruto and Hinata have been in a dimension where time does not flow for three years. So I'm not gonna lie, bro. Naruto, Hinata, they 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 literally did not age, bro. They did not age. Like imagine, bro. Imagine this is Naruto. This is Boruto's way of keeping Naruto alive. Like the series. Like this is a series way of keeping Naruto alive by keeping him in his dimension so he doesn't grow old and pass away. なあ。よく、よく<笑> You were my hero growing up. I watched all you movies. Hundreds.
You think you look strong? You're wearing a cape. You're just a cheap fucking knockoff. Oh no. I'm the upgrade.
stronger, him or you? If the biggest sorcerer in history used 120% of her potential, she might cause me a little trouble. But would you lose? Now, nah, I'd eat! The only reason why you were the biggest sorcerer in history is simply because I wasn't born yet. Also, there's more? Isn't that enough already? No, there's one last thing I have to say. Uh. Y'all could say I got. I really love you, Kiki Gaia. W Riz. Bro, what? Kawaki, Himawari, and everybody else is pulling up now? Are they finna jump code or what? Bro, I just realized Boruto supposedly the villain right now, bro. They finna jump Boruto, bro. Bro, the roles have reversed. What is going on right now? And what does Himawari think she's gonna do against Boruto? I know she doesn't believe Boruto's the villain, but why is she actually... Bro, this, this is an S-class mission. What is she doing right now, bro? Back in the day, bro, she wouldn't, bro. This is crazy. Times have changed. Boruto is easily soloing all of these jits right here, bro. Like Himawari, bro. Go play with some teddy bears or something. Nah, I'm playing. I'm really happy she's fighting. You know, she's a ninja now. That's what's up. But yeah, man, Kawaki is here, so that could only mean one thing, bro. He waited for Boruto to finish off code just so he could get the ones, bro. He was like, you know what, bro? I'm not even going to try to bother with code, bro. I'm going to let Boruto do my dirty work. And once he's done with code, I want the ones for myself. I don't think he knows, though. I don't think he knows about that Rasengan Uziko, bro. Like, Kawaki, you need to stop being so cocky, bro. Like, Boruto is different now. He's on different timing right now, bro. You do not want to mess with him. I don't understand this Rasengan Uziko, but you won't either. You won't see what's coming, bro. Boruto time skip chapter 3, full endless chapter, let's go. Alright, so the chapter begins off with code saying Rasengan. Uziko? Is it the vanishing Rasengan he's good at? No, it's different. That's an invisible technique that can't attack from a distance. It's useless. It's not an ambush. It's strange. Then we see Ko trying to rush Boruto. Looks like Boruto is forming the Uziko. Ko cannot touch Boruto for some reason. Look at Boruto, bro, just drawing the sword. But Ko is like, you seem to have a lot of confidence in that technique. Too bad. It's futile if it doesn't hit. Boruto is like, I told you, it's easy to kill you. In fact, it's already half done. Oh my goodness. Ko's like, what? I was like, what is this thing clinging on me? What is this? Boruto's like, I'll say this one more time, Code. This is the last warning. Take me to where the Ten Tails is. If you can't, then die here. Don't make me laugh, Boruto. Try it if you can. Then he rushes Boruto full speed. Boruto easily dodges, bro. Code cannot touch him. Code's like, stop moving around. Code is like, what is this movement? It's not on the level of dodging. 
Bro, Boruto has infinity now, bro. He cannot be touched. Oh my goodness, it's GG. Look at Boruto's face. Oh my goodness, he's about to do it. Rasengan? Oh, Zico! Oh my goodness, look at Code's face. Yeah, it's GG's. Code just got sent flying. Nah, the power is insane, bro. Code is getting no diff right now. Okay, looks like Code gets back up. I just like, it's over? How is it different from an ordinary Rasengan? Basically, this Rasengan uses the planet's rotation, bro. Oh, that's crazy. But basically, Bortles like, I'm surprised that you could stand right after taking this. Then we see a Whirlpool just ambush Code, I guess? Code is like, what is this rotation? It's clearly affecting Code, bro. What's going on? Code is like, what did you do? Bortles like, savor it well. This is a strike back from the planet you tried to destroy. Chakra of the planet are saying on that absorb its rotation. That is Uziko. Right now, the power coursing through your body will never disappear. Just like a planet doesn't stop its rotation. Basically, Bortles says, before the rotation of the planet stops, your life will end, bro. This is honestly a crazy power. This is scary. Look at Boruto just looking at Code in the face, bro. That's crazy. And Boruto's like, however, if I release Uziko, that's a different story. Either you wait for a death sentence or hand me over the ten tails and survive. And then Kawaki pulls up, okay. And also Himawari, bro. That's crazy. Oh, look, a sister and brother bonding moment. Family reunion. Shikada is like, what are you doing back in Konoha, Boruto? Boruto is like, we're in the middle of negotiations. Can you stop interfering with us? Code is up to something. Kawaki stops Code and Shikamaru is like, report the situation, Kawaki. What's going on? Kawaki is like, I don't know what happened, but Code seems to be quite exhausted. I just got rid of all the surrounding telegrams to cut off his retreat. We can probably kill him. Boruto is like, Kawaki, get away from him right now. Don't provoke him. Kawaki is like, who are you to order me around? Obviously, if you came to Konoha, you must be prepared to fight, right? Code sends out. A claw grim. Kawaki easily no diffs it, but Code is on the run. Pierre Kawaki is like, I've got business with him. Three years. What's up with that look? Did you become Ochiha's adopted child? Yo, he thinks he became Sasuke's child. That's crazy. Bortles like, I'm relieved that your sharp tongue hasn't changed. Himawari seems fine too. Kawaki is like, What are you here for? If you choose your hometown as your place of death, I'll help you right here and right now. Dinakona isn't bad, but not today. Back off Kawaki. And then we see Bortles using a toad to track code bro this is crazy bro bro gotta be working with kashi and koji we see code has already absorbed the 10 tails bro code is gonna come back op i just know it and here is the final page bro oh my goodness confirmed it's the 10 tails hey man peak 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 i came from this chapter too bad it's in a month but hey rate the chapter one to ten in the comments So apparently the looks maxers have leaked my address as if it was ever a secret. They act like I'm scared. I got weapons in my house up the wazoo. I got doxxed and threatened by the Taliban. The Taliban were after me and these little incels think they could scare me. As I said, anytime someone pushes, I push harder. Boruto, Two Blue Vortex, Chapter 4. In this chapter, Boruto uses Flying God Thunder Technique to teleport to Code. Goat doing right there, for real. Apparently, the Ten Tails has transformed into four new beings, who are after the life of Boruto or Tsutsuki. Gushing Koji warns Boruto to escape, or he will instantly destroy the planet because of his overwhelming power. Here are the new Boruto villains and who they want to kill. First up, we have the Shinju named Hidari, and he wants Sarido Uchiha. And if you notice very, very closely, this motherfucker looks like Sasuke. And that is because he is a clone of Sasuke, infused with the Ten Tails and all this other shit. This is crazy. These Shinjus basically develop a will, a ego, and they just want to carry out their plans. This motherfucker just wants to do anything to kill Sarda. Next up, we have the best looking one, Judah, and he wants Naruto. And it's crazy because Naruto's literally in a coma in a frozen time dimension. What do you want with Naruto? Hey, Naruto new form on the way. Then we got Bug, and look how unfazed Ada looks. But yeah, Bug wants Ada. Finally, we have Matsuri, and she wants Konohamaru. He's fodder anyway, so hey, 
Go ahead and take, bro. said that if you change, the world changes with you. But that's not true. When people judge others, it's with prejudice and existing impressions. People who are alone are pressured to stay alone. If they work hard to stand out, others only use that to hurt them. It's lousy, but that's how kids operate. 